It's like canvas space for artists in North Denver is disappearing. It's just kind of funny. I've never had one like this before. It's like gone half the time. Anna Charney is a full-time artist, born and raised here. This is kind of the normal style that I work in. I call it quote unquote digital taffy. We're trying to get more walls and new walls. A big part of finding a palette for these artists starts in this black and white room. Right now you're in the Rhino, uh, Rhino Arts District office. Robin Monroe secures artistic workspace with a festival he started 10 years ago. Crush Walls is an annual street art and graffiti event held here in the Rhino Arts District. Last year we had about 80 some installations. Um, but over 100 artists participating. This year's hopefuls can submit their concepts through May 5th. We've gotten close to 300 applicants so far. Yeah, I paint dots. <laughs> Anna is going for her fourth year in Crush. Once I send in my application. <laughs> You'll be surprised how many artists get that last push in, like we'll get like an extra 20, like the last 10 minutes. I'm still finishing. <laughs> Crush's seven board members want feasible ideas from Colorado artists and their collaborators. Got a pitch with an educational or community outreach component? Even better. This one though is entirely 100% spray paint. Anna got her first opportunity to paint a wall mural at Crush. So that was a really big deal for me and for my artistic growth and career to have the opportunity to come out and paint the mural. Robin knows the importance of providing a backdrop for artists in Denver. With the ever-evolving landscape here and the new buildings and construction and development, making sure that we help the local artist community here to elevate as well is a crucial part of what Crush does. Mike Grady, 9 News.